Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the disk has been surprise removed event ID error message 157 on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be actually to open up your computer if you're comfortable with it. And this, you don't have any loose connections or cords connecting your hard drive to your motherboard or any other devices on your computer. So again, make sure you have a solid connection. You might have a bad SATA cable, for example. So I recommend taking a look into that. Something else you may want to try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in regedit. Best match, or come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Same thing now for Current Control Set. So go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Services folder. Double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be a Disk folder in here, D-I-S-K. You might want to take note of our file path up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder or sub key we've went under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to locate a value that says timeout value. Go ahead and double click on that. Delete what's ever in here. Type the number 60. Base should be hexadecimal. And then you want to select OK. And then once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. One final thing we can check would be to open up the search menu. Type in disk management. Best match, I'll come back with create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and open that up. Right click on whatever the drive is if you're seeing the drive listed in here and select where it says change drive letters and paths. At this point you can select the change button and you can assign a different drive letter and then select OK. And that's another potential workaround. Please note any dependencies that require that drive letter could be thrown off, meaning if you have a game directory on this drive or different programs and you change the drive letter associated with that hard drive, you may have issues with programs not being able to work properly. So just keep that in mind. Just be conscious about changing drive letters. But should be a pretty straightforward process though regardless. One further thing we can try here as well, if we open up File Explorer, so if you want to search for it in the search menu, or you can just select the taskbar icon if you have one. Select this PC on the left side, and then right click on the drive if you're seeing it in this list here underneath Devices and Drives, and select versus Properties. Select the Tools tab, and underneath Error Checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the Check button, and then select versus Scan Drive. And then hopefully if there are any errors uncovered, it might prompt you to restart your computer. And that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.